Okay, I wanted to uh, grab a sample here of the additional signature that I spoke about on a prior video where we were looking at the Coastal Ocean Dynamics Application Radar System and the CSON uh, particular signatures that we were measuring uh, between 4.3 and 5.4 megacycles. So on the uh, prior sample, of the long range uh, 4.3 to 5.4 megacycle uh, FMCW sweeps that we were looking at were contained with about a 25 kc FMCW signature and this particular signature as we approach the mid-range uh, distance that these radars are sweeping uh, from 11.5 to 14 megacycles still have an 80 watt output and have a target range of 20 to 60 kilometers whereas the long range ones at 4.3 to 5.4 megacycles had a 100 to 200 kilometer range. So the sweep rate on these particular radars is much much wider. Each particular transmitter will sweep 100 kc and again these are measuring ocean wave height and current modeling. So it's used for uh, tsunami detection and modeling the particular ocean characteristics in this case in the 20 to 60 kilometer range from the west coast. Now these radars here are set up in a fashion where they occupy roughly 300 kilo cycles and a big chunk here between where we're located which is in the first section of three major 100 kc sweeps and we can start to see some additional signatures off to the right as propagation changes come into view here. We can also see some selective fading in the uh, sweep as evident in the uh, scarring throughout the uh, 100 kc sweep range. So again this was uh, uh, an example of the CODAR CSON uh, radar sweeps and we're in the mid-range now of what they're viewing and I thought it would provide a pretty good sample to compare to the long-range sensors which had a much narrower FM CW sweep of only 25 kc. So all in all pretty good examples of FM CW type radar signatures. These will always have uh, a very static sweep repetition frequency to deliver their echo patterns and there are other 8 to 16 kilocycle Oh, there's one there. It's going to pop up right there. Uh, those particular signatures are much more flexible and frequency agile in both their frequency repetition rate and their operating frequency to gauge with Briggs scatter principles uh, the distance of a waveform or wave height and speed at which that wave height is traveling. And so they're a real interesting one to watch. Uh, they really change their uh, their oscillation rates uh, and frequencies quite uh, quite often. Well, this was a good sample. Propagation was cooperating. We can see a really nice uh, formed 100 uh, kc sweep. And for reference, we did leave the receiver in the upper sideband, looking at just about 3,000 cycles. So as the carrier sweeps through our particular passband will be able to demodulate uh, a beat note as that carrier pulse travels through the receiver and again that audio is not part of the radar sweep that's a product of the beat frequency oscillation detection in the uh, particular receiver. Well I hope you enjoyed that sample a good uh, really wide FMCW radar signature here. These are actually a pair of 100 kc wide radar sweeps that belong to the same family and that family is the CODAR system or the Coastal Ocean Dynamics Application Radar Program. And these particular 100 kc wide radar sweeps 
uh, are interesting in the fact that they're actually inverse to each other and you can kind of see that where we're centered and so the signature off to our right is sweeping from high to low in frequency and that's why it's tilting in its position that it's in in the waterfall and the signature off to our left is sweeping from low to high and that's why it appears to have the inverted tilt as compared to the signature off to the right so it's an interesting effect uh, it really was uh, I think worth uh, sampling and uh, looking at so again these are both 100 KC however they're intersected and taking up nearly uh, uh, almost a quarter of their overall bandwidth with the intersection I did leave the uh, receiver opened up into the upper sideband uh, just about three kilocycles so we can uh, get a little bit of the B frequency oscillation as that travels uh, right through our uh, part of our receiver. And that signature we just saw that that was uh, that was massive. <laughs> that was really large. Okay. Pretty interesting uh, view here. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video.